Hello everybody. Today we're going to go to North Chagrin Reservation and they're called reservations in Ohio. They're big uh, Cleveland Metro Parks uh, public parks where there is a building called Squire's Castle. Now this building is said to be haunted and that people see lights in the upper windows at night and sometimes on the grounds and uh, there's a story that it's haunted by the wife of the man that built this. But first we're gonna go here and take a look at what Squire's Castle looks like today. The man who built it was F.B. Squire. About 1890, he purchased 525 acres of forest land on what is now Willoughby Hills, Ohio, east of Cleveland. About 1895, he began construction on the gatekeeper's house. And this is in the Romanesque revival style. The structure, which was exceedingly rustic, it didn't have running water, electricity, natural gas or sewer, and he finished it around 1897. He abandoned plans to create the manor house after he encountered difficulty obtaining building materials, labor, and his, he and his daughter mostly used the gatekeeper's house as an occasional weekend country home. But like I said before, his wife disliked the house, and so he rarely visited after 1908. He sold the estate, the land, and the gatekeeper's house to developers in 1922, but they went bankrupt, and the estate was seized by a local bank. It sounds similar to that abandoned observatory, doesn't it? The Cleveland Park Metro Parks, they purchased most of the land in 1925, and they started calling it Squire's Castle, but it became heavily vandalized, and uh, it was in a, a state of great disrepair, sort of like the abandoned observatory. It's similar to these things, but this is a nicer neighborhood. The vandals removed the leaded glass windows and stripped the interior of almost all the architectural and decorative details. And in 1995 is when it was restored to the current state, which is basically a shell of itself. There's only one little thing I found up here in the corner, this little design, and I don't know what that is. It doesn't seem to be a scary place, at least here in the daytime. I mean, there's so many children and they are running and they run through the castle and it, it, it doesn't have a, a, a negative feeling like some of the other places that I've been. And there's no, that I can see, there's no uh, graffiti. Um, they keep it very clean, I guess, after they restored it and anything that shows up, you know, they take care of it. Um, and I, it's, I mean, it's like an immaculate, place right here. <laughs> yeah. This is the place where his wife, Louisa, stayed when she would go into the country. This used to be a country area and it was called Cobblestone Garth in Wycliffe. You can still see the old estate, 
by the cobblestone walls that surround the property, in addition to the observation tower and the gatehouse entrance. The building now is used by as local businesses rent spaces in it. Squire sold the estate in 1930 and he died in 1932. Then it became Ridgecliff Sanitarium, providing care for those with mental disorders, which as we know through our travels usually means there's weird spiritual energy in the place. And here, this area here to me was much more unsettled than the Squire's Castle which felt fine, pretty nice, didn't feel like anything was there. But back in here in the woods and there's a stream or something, it, it just feels a little unsettled here. And maybe it's because of the sanitarium. Uh, and then it was, the sanitarium was destroyed by a fire in the 1960s. So that building is totally gone. So now what's left is just the uh, gatekeeper's home. There are far too many people reporting something moving around Squire's castle late at night. So while Mrs. Squire doesn't haunt the castle, maybe something else does. But something here would probably be more likely because this is where she died and it was a sanitarium and it was destroyed by fire. And uh, it's a kind of a, it, it feels weird, strange here. Now back to Squire's castle. During the day it seems fine, but at night people say they see things here. Do I believe them? You never know.